can we get a like for saving some backs? Today we're gonna dive into helping you guys fix the barbell row exercise. I know a lot of people do this wrong, I see it in the gym, and we're gonna start off by going over three common mistakes. Let's dive into it. Number one, you have overhand and underhand grip. And a lot of people will do one or the other not knowing how they work and they're doing them incorrectly. So it's important that you know the distinction between the two because if you don't know how you're working your muscles, what an exercise is doing, you don't know how to properly contract them. So underhand grip, when you're pulling up, you're gonna get a lot more lower back work in. So you're also gonna target the bicep head more and as a result, you can come say more from that. So we'll see a lot of people doing underhand and they'll do like a Yates roll. They'll go really deep and they'll really stretch it out past this point where the elbow locks. And if you do this, you're putting a lot of strain on the bicep head. The tendon of the bicep, because it's a small muscle, can rip as a result. So that is something you definitely want to avoid. You just want to make sure you're doing proper range of motion bicep curls. You're not overextending that arm and putting a lot of tension on that bicep to put it in jeopardy. Now overhand grip, you're going to get a lot more upper back work, you're going to get some more rear delts, some more traps in there, and you're going to have your tricep assisting you on the negative. So now that you know that, let's dive into the second mistake. Common mistake number two is range of motion. So starting off with a small range of motion, you see a lot of people, they're doing the exercise, they're standing too upright, and this is going to reduce their range of motion like crazy, they just go like this, and they're really not working much. And then there's those people that are kind of going like this, and as they pull up, their back is rising. And that's completely incorrect as well. If you have incorrect range of motion for this exercise, you are not going to be doing anything really to grow your back properly, and you're going to find yourself going in circles in the gym. Third, and definitely the cringiest of the six, is the backgrounding during the movement. So when you do this, you're actually separating all the vertebrae. There's a small amount of spinal fluid that kind of connects them and keeps them tight. When you do this, you expose them all, you're elongating your spine, and it puts it in a very dangerous position. Therefore, if I start doing this, I'm gonna get ticket to Snap City, especially if I start ego lifting. That's kind of like our 3.5. That one's getting kind of obvious by now. So to kind of circumvent this, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it from start to finish. So what I like to recommend with foot placement, is have your feet right in the middle of the bar or so, a little bit of ducking, go underhand or overhand at about a shoulder width grip. From here, you're gonna get a little bit of bend and you're gonna get that back ready just like a deadlift. From here, you can lift, have the knees slightly bent, push yourself down. You can see that my bicep is in fully extended, but it's extended to the point where it's still under control. The bicep is still holding it along with the back. So from here, you row up, squeeze. Come down, let it stretch a bit, squeeze. Down, squeeze. Make sure you're touching your stomach. Try to squeeze if you want. Even better, wraps. Another huge mistake is people that look forward because that'll push the spine down. I recommend looking about six feet in front of you. Maybe it's something in the distance. We're gonna look about like that. Okay guys, three variations to help you guys get some muscle and some other things you can do that are great rowing movements that you can either do in addition to this or in substitution to this. First off, we've got the single arm dumbbell row. This one's excellent, especially if you find you have imbalances, you really wanna work on kind of connecting yourself as a unit, unit sorry. You're gonna to wanna to do single arm exercise. So for this, you can make sure you're working each lat independently, and you're making sure that you're pretty even in strength on both sides. You can also get an amazing contraction this way. You can do sanded seating, and it's a bit easier than trying to wait around for a barbell. Variation number two, we have the bent over cable row. Now one thing you guys need to keep in mind about this is the range of motion isn't as great on this one. You'll find yourself being able to run the stack very quick within this exercise, but I know a lot of people actually don't have access to a barbell. Some of you guys are in a hotel, you're traveling, anything like that, so we recommend trying this exercise in. You're able to keep constant tension on the muscles, and it's a great alternative to the actual bent over barbell row. Number three, guys, we've got the good old cable, seated cable row. This is an excellent alternative, once again, to the barbell row. It's different positioning. You're kind of straightened out. If you guys want to see, we have an amazing tutorial, which you guys can check out in the top right. I really recommend that. It's very in-depth. We go through everything, and there's actually a lot of different talking points that are separate from the barbell row that occur in the cable row. Something to take advantage of. You can get a fantastic stretch for your lats to help build a big back. Hope you guys love that video. Once again, please smash that like button, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. 
We're always producing quality content. Myself and Kyle are also powerlifters. We compete powerlifting competitively. We do men's physique and we are Team EHP athletes. So thanks so much for checking in once again. Feel free to also dive through all our other How to Fix Your Form playlists. It should really help you out. Uh, there's tons of exercises you can go through. If you guys want, you something you're not sure of, comment down below, we'll get right back to you. We love you all and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.